Hello friends, uh, today I am going to show you how to remove the malware uh, warning from your uh, web WordPress website. So this is what the warning looks like when you uh, open your site and uh, more importantly you see uh, this is say, saying that, that some kind of malware is uh, there in your site and that is this site is marked as an attacking site okay uh, all you have to do is just ignore this warning and at the bottom there will be a url visit this site uh, unsafe site click on that and uh, it will take you to the website but it may give some you know um, another warning or so you have to uh, continue doing this until you reach your site now right click on the on the site and uh, um, view the page source again it's showing the warning again you have to ignore it now you see at the end uh, there is another uh, on, the, on the source page you can see some kind of uh, uh, script over there the script type is javascript actually it, it is this is nothing but this is combination of ascii characters that is uh, building together to uh, redirect us to some url so that URL is causing the problem for you. So this is uh, where you have to fix the pro uh, problem. Okay. So for this, we have to go to our uh, hosting. And uh, let me go to the hosting page. Now this is my hosting, and uh, here I can, uh, you know, go to my uh, go to the file manager where all my wordpress files are being uh, kept so i have to go to the root of this uh, uh, websites directory so the root directory uh, go to your wp include folder and in this folder you will be looking for something called default filters default filters yeah, what is that file? Yes, this is the file. So we can edit it by different editors and on the top, but I prefer to use uh, the code editor. So when I click this, this window will open and you can see the code in the proper format. So at the end of this file, you can see this script is been written, which has been called during uploading your template. Okay. Now you see, we have to delete this thing from here. Uh, before doing that, if you are not confident what you are doing, so you can take a backup of this and uh, just select this from here, the full function and calling out the JavaScript and just delete it, remove it from here. Okay. So this is the solution and it's very simple it's nothing complex in that so once you have done this you have to submit it to the google again so before deleting this you can keep, keep a copy of this and uh, paste it somewhere in your notepad so that you can submit it to the google again saying the reason that this was the code in my in my website and uh, you know i have removed this so i have saved this changes okay and you can close the uh, windows and resubmit the site to google and saying that i have removed this particular code from my website which was causing the problem